I'm going to do a poem by Robert Haas called Cuttings, and I'm going to do it in tiny pieces because it is a rather long poem. Um, this is a visual experience poem. For those of you that don't appreciate poetry, don't understand poetry, find poetry frustrating because it sometimes doesn't say something, Robert Haas is not going to be your favorite poet. But if you listen carefully, what he's doing is creating images in your head that recall to your own mind some memories or experiences that have and connect certain feelings for you. It's why poems are aesthetic, why they are different for everybody, why everybody experiences them in a different way. Robert Haas is perfect for that because although he is probably describing something very specific and, and in many of these visuals there are very specific things, um, the feelings and the emotions are that they bring up in us individually are what makes poetry poetry. Um, so with that said, um, I'm going to read this and and I want you to remember that a poem is a white hot ball of emotion. That's all it is. And, and that when the poet is crafting the poem, what they're doing is they're creating a feeling for you. And sometimes it's a good feeling, and sometimes it's sadness, like your, your heart is going to break. And other times it's just something intangible, but deeper than you usually care to go. So, this is the poem Cuttings by Robert Haas. Body Through Which the Dream Flows You count up everything you have, or have let go. What's left is the lost and the possible. To the lost, the irretrievable, or just out of reach, you say, Light love the pier, the seedy string quartet of the sun going down over the water that gilds ants and beach flies ecstatic and communal on the stiffened body of a dead greepy, washed ashore by last night's storm. Idiot sorrow and irregular splendor is the half-sister of these considerations. To the possible you say nothing. October on the planet. Huge moon. Bright stars. The lovers undressing. They put on rising, and they rose. They put on falling, and they fell. They were the long grass on the hillside that shudders in the wind. They sleep, days, kitchens, cut flowers, shed petals, smell of lemon, smell of toast or soap. Are you upset about something, one says? No, the other says. Are you sure, the one says? Yes, the other says. I'm sure. Sad. Often we are sad animals, bored dogs, monkeys getting rained on. Migration. A small brown wren in the tangle of the climbing rose. April, last rain, the first dazzle and reluctance of the light. Dark. Desire lies down with the day and the night birds wake to their fast heartbeats in the trees. The woman beside you is breathe, breathing evenly. All day you were in a body. Now you are in a skull. Wind, street lights, trees flicker on the ceiling in the dark. Things change. Small song, two beat. The robin on the lawn hops from sun into shadow, shadow into sun. Stories in bed. In the field behind her house, she said, fennel grew high and green in the early summer, and the air smelled like little anise scented loaves in the Italian restaurants her father used to take them to on Sunday nights. She had to sit up straight. It was the idea of family they failed at. She lights a cigarette, remembering the taunt veins in her mother's neck, how she studied them, repelled. He has begun to drowse. Backyards, her voice, dusty fennel, the fe festering sweetness of plums. 
Monday morning, late summer. On the fence in the sunlight, beach towels, no wind. The apricots have ripened and been picked. The blackberries have ripened and been picked. So, they walked along the dry gully, cottonwoods, so the river must be underground. Plus which, she turned to him, or alternatively she turned away. Doves let loose above the sea, or the sea at night beating on the pylons of a bridge. Off-season, the candles were Mediterranean opaque, and the cat cried, Allure, 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 in the blue susurrations of heather by the outhouse door.